Hello you beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Natasha and I am your favorite natural hair guru. If you're a returning subscriber, hello, what do you do? Thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. Um, but anyway, so today I am bringing you guys something very interesting, not very interesting, but interesting for me because if you're like me then you've probably wondered um, what the difference is between a twist out and a braid out and today I am going to do a side by side comparison which means I will twist one side and braid one side and just basically untwist and unbraid just to see the comparison between um, volume and curl pattern and what's the other one I forgot the length so yeah so i'm gonna do a comparison for that i am starting off with my hair that is very dry um a little stretched out so i already have a mid line opening i think i think yeah um but also i should just point out that my hair is not detangled so the results that i am going to show you are not a hundred percent accurate well this sounds like a scientific experiment Experiment. But anyway, so the results that you're gonna see are not 100% accurate because my hair is not detangled. If it was detangled, the, the results would definitely be a lot better. But I am too lazy to detangle, so I am technically a lazy natural hair guru. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I am gonna start off by showing you the products that I will be using. I will use the exact same products for both sides just to make sure that the products do not influence the, the results. So I will be using obviously my water bottle and I will be using the Girl Boss Leave-In Conditioner. This is really, 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 really amazing. And I will also be using the Nilotica um, Sheer and Cocoa Collection Deep Moisture Butter. So that, just to, you know, moisturize it a little bit. Um, I also have my comb here to basically, you know, make my life a little easier. So uh, we are going to get straight into the video. Please give this video a thumbs up, by the way, while you're still at it. And subscribe while you're still at it. <laughs> okay.
I am done. Um, it took a while actually. <laughs> so um, some of the things off the top of my head is you may notice that I didn't actually finish braiding. Um, that's because I didn't want to strain my strands. My yeah, I didn't want to strain my hair at the at at the ends. Um, so the reason for that is when you when you're braiding, when you unbraid it takes a lot more effort and i might actually need to use a comb so if this part is braided and tight then it will fall off i think i don't i don't know i don't want to risk it um but anyway so um off the top of my head you can tell that the the braids are actually a little longer than than the twists so and obviously if i stretch it out then it's probably the same length but you can tell that the braid is gonna stretch my hair a lot longer than the twist but anyway I will just wait to see um, uh, you saw me combing out some of, of uh, the side when I was braiding that's because when I unbraid I don't want it to tangle it's more likely to tangle because it's braids and not twist so this takes a lot longer and this is quick quick if you want something quick and easy this should be a go-to this should just be there if you're very intentional about wanting is like specifically a braid out but i am gonna go away now for a couple of hours just let excuse me just to let it take shape and curl and whatever and then i will come back in a couple of hours and unbraid and untwist just to basically see and then we can talk about the differences you guys it has been a whole day <laughs> so it is the next day and i know that i said i was going to take a couple of hours but i did take a couple of hours and then it got dark and i was like you know what it's fine i'll just finish the rest of the video tomorrow so it is tomorrow and yeah so i tied this when i went to sleep because i lost my set on the scarf and i am yet to buy another one but in the meantime we make do with what we have so this is what the hair basically looks like so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply a little bit of cream to my hands um and then start untwisting and unbraiding and then we can discuss everything So I just want to quickly point out that the definition for the twist is insane, you guys. Like, look at this. I love, love, love how these came out. Um, of course I am here to like separate the strands, but I love, love how these came out. Um, also the lighting is a little crazy today, so it's just gonna keep changing and all of that. But anyway, let's go on to the braiding side. So I am done unbraiding. Um, so if you have hair like mine, you do not want to braid your hair that size because me braiding my hair so small, um, I ended up unbraiding and lost some of the, the curl because I had to stretch and pull and all of that. So if you have hair like mine, you don't want to braid your hair um, with braids that are that thin. Um, but I'm about to start unraveling the twist and then I'll unravel the side also just to see um, and then we can discuss three things curl pattern um, length and volume so let's go Okay, so I am done and I am pretty sure this is an epic fail. Um, 
but anyway let's talk about first let's talk about co pattern i personally like the twist out because it's more defined i do think that had i um done braids that were a little bigger um then the curl would not have been destroyed while i was unbraiding because unbraiding was a lot more challenging i don't want to lie and it was definitely um it took me a long time like my hands got to a point where i was like you know what my, my hands are like really tired um but the the twist side is definitely more defined than than the braid side um and volume i <laughs> This is, this is a little harder, but I feel like volume is more on the side than the side. Um, oh my God, look at that. That is amazing. I love, love, love my hair. Um, and obviously I do know that certain people, people who have 4B, 4A, they get more um, curl definition than we do. And by we, I mean 4C. Um, if you have 4C hair and you get like really good definition, good for you, you know, you're living the soft life. <laughs> but um, braid, I think they definitely have, it definitely gives me more volume. And in terms of length, I also do think the braid side gave me a bit more length. It's just that, like I said again, that I um, ruined the braid out when I was unbraiding because sometimes I had to use a comb because of how tight the braids were and if like I said before if you have hair like mine I do not recommend doing braids that size so I would highly recommend that you do braids that are a little bigger um, so you don't ruin them in the process of unbraiding but yeah I am very happy with the definition of of the twist out twist is very easy you just you twist you untwist it's so easy um but also when i separate my hair i don't see that part that is like a little tangly i don't separate that i just let it go so <laughs> um i could i mean i could but i just i don't know why i don't honestly there's no excuse i just don't separate until the ends i know that my ends are extremely extremely fragile especially because i have not trimmed in a really long time i i think it's been a year or whatever which is not recommended by the way um but yeah i have not trimmed in a really really long time so right now i am extremely extremely happy with the, the twist outside and the braid out has its people i don't want to lie i've seen people do braid outs and they looked amazing um but i do know that some things um are just beyond 4c uh not 4c my hair they're just beyond my specifically me my hair but if you have like um 4C hair and you've had braid outs that turned out amazing for you um, please leave a comment down below please tell me how you did it um, and if you guys noticed anything that I could have done better on the video um, in terms of untwisting and unbraiding please do let me know down below and how you handle your twist outs and your braid outs um, yeah man like honestly I feel like this is this is a twist out that is good comparing to most of my twist outs and how most of my twist outs turn out um yeah my hair just it doesn't want to work with me hey eh? like honestly i envy other people's hair um i envy other people's hair in terms of definition and how well the twist outs turn i like that for them and i also like it for me but i just don't have it so that's okay we move on so yeah i think this concludes the video um if you do like it please give it a thumbs up and please let me know if your hair is like mine because i know i can't struggle by myself um please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe down below if you have not subscribed yet please 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 subscribe okay okay i'll see you guys next week and bye